Hey folks, thanks for joining us this week on Joe's to Journey. Uh, first of all, we want to say that we hope you had a Merry Christmas. We're sorry we didn't post last week, but uh, we had a family thing came up and we had to take a quick trip up to New York State and help some family out. So we were able to do that and in the same time, God bless us, we were able to stop and see everybody for Christmas along the way and be back here before the big storm. We hope we made it through the storm good. And uh, so what we're doing this week is the remainder of our Christmas things that we saw uh, here in Florida. And, uh, and then please hang on to the end of the video, watch it all the way through, because I'll have a thought for you and a challenge for the new year. Something a different kind of a challenge, I think, than what you will normally hear from somebody else. So uh, please make sure to stay with us to the end of the video. And if you like the video, make sure to hit that like sign uh, and that thumbs up. And uh, make sure that if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hello there! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody!
Can you find the 11 five-legged goats that are hidden in that? This is the geyser at Wilderness Lodge. Somewhat of a replica of Old Baker Yellow. Yes. a rainbow up at the top as it's going off and the water vapor gets thinner.
All right, folks, thanks for hanging out with us and joining, joining us till the end of the video. This year's thought from on the road and the challenge for the new year is this. With challenges for the new year, there's thousands of them out there and you realize that over 90% of people don't keep their new year's resolution. Well, my challenge to you for this new year is to be more about truth over tradition. Here's what I'm talking to you about, and this is the thought I want to give you, and something that I want you to research. Don't just take my word for it, but I want you personally to research it. And that's this. We see a lot of nativities with Jesus, the baby Jesus, in a manger. Now, in the manger, it looks like a food, uh, feeding trough, a hay trough kind of a thing. And that is not really the place where he was born. I want you to stop and think about who Jesus was. Remember, Jesus was, as John called him when John the Baptist saw him, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Okay? And where did he go to be born? In the city of David, Bethlehem. Well, Bethlehem, in Micah chapter number 5, verse number 2 says, But thou, Bethlehem, Euphrata, thou, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old uh, everlasting, excuse me. And so the town of Jude, uh, Bethlehem was actually the place where the lambs for the Passover were birthed, held, and watched over. And the shepherds there that took care of them were not just shepherds, but they were priest shepherds. They were both priests and shepherds. They took care of those lambs that were to be specifically for the Passover to make sure that those lambs met the criteria of lambs for the Passover, being without blemish. And they kept them that way and kept them in such a way to keep them well and safe and from harm. And stop and think of the picture that is portrayed here and the fact that Jesus was not born at the inn because, as the Bible tells us, there was no room for them in the inn, but rather he was born here in the manger. Now, this manger was the place. It wasn't a feeding trough, but it was the place where the lambs for the Passover were birthed and kept for Passover. And the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world, who, what the Bible tells us is was to be our Passover, Paul said in 1 Corinthians, was born in the very place that the lambs, the real, the regular lambs, were born for Passover. So the Lamb of God, which was to be our Passover to take away the sins of the world, was born in the place where other lambs were born for the Passover. Not in the feeding trough, not in some random place, just because there was no room for the inn but in a specific place to paint the picture of who Jesus was and what he was going to do. So my challenge to you this year, because the tradition is the feeding trough kind of scene, the little manger thing that had hay in it and stuff like that. That's tradition, that's not truth. What I want you to do this year is to look for truth and practice truth over tradition. Let that be your New Year's resolution. Now, listen, listen. losing weight is great, living better is great, uh, getting out of debt is great. All those things, there's nothing wrong with any of those. But of all the things that you keep, live by truth over tradition. And research out the things that you thought were tr truth, which are actually tradition, like the manger and find out what they really were and the beautiful picture that is in it. All right, thanks again for joining us and we'll catch you on the road. And remember, when you wander, wander with the purpose, the purpose of sharing the love of God.